Today we will be discussing how you build a bridge over water. The first thing you have to think about is how you construct the towers under the water and into the ground. Towers are the support structure under the road or the bridge that are sometimes circular or square. You have to have several towers that span across a river from one side to the other so that the bridge is stable to go across. There are several different types of towers that can be used for several different types of bridges. The three different types that we will be discussing in this video are batter pile, coffer dam, and caisson. The first type of bridge foundation we will be talking about is battered piles. The most common approach for permanent bridges is to sink the pier down into the earth below the water. Um, and battered piles are usually used for shallow water. The barge that you see in the picture that is brown is bringing the pile drivers um, out into the river. Um, they, there are several men driving the barge, which is kind of like a boat, the barge is, um, to place the pile drivers into the water. The pile drivers that you see here are made out of concrete, so they're like columns, concrete columns. The barge drops the pile drivers into the water. Then the pile drivers are hammered down into the mud at the bottom of the river. The pile drivers are hammered really far into the mud depending on how long the bridge is, how high the water is, and if the mud is really soft or hard. The pile drivers then become battered. Battered means that the concrete piles are slightly turned outwards to make them sturdy. It also is important because when you are driving your boat underneath a bridge, you are moving the water underneath. So you want to make sure the piles are very strong. You have to hammer the battered piles sideways as well because they have to be able to hold the road for the bridge and the cars above. And this is a completed 3D image of the battered piles embedded into the ground with a bridge spanning over the top. The second system we are talking about are called coffer dams. Coffer dams are typically three or four sided boxes. The boxes are temporary structures made of sheet piles as you can see here. The sheet piles are interlocked together to create an airtight seal. Once the box is constructed, it is placed in the water. All the water on the interior of the box is pumped out until the dirt at the bottom is reached. Now that all the water is gone, wa workers can enter the box and begin constructing the supports for the bridges. Another method of bridge construction is known as drilled caisson construction. A caisson is a large watertight chamber that keeps water out through air pressure used in construction work underwater as a foundation. Thanks to modern advances, it is no longer necessary to have manual labor do the initial digging. Large drills are more efficient and a safer alternative. The installation follows a series of steps. First, a steel tube is lowered and hammered into the bedrock as a casing. An auger, which is a drill for boring holes, then drills into the soil digging a hole deep into the ground. Using a pump, the water is removed from the tube and air pressure allows it to be watertight and keep the sides from collapsing in. A steel frame is then lowered into the hole to provide support. Then, the hole is filled with concrete. A few moments later. Once this is finished, a concrete box is then set down around the concrete shaft and also filled with concrete. This will become a permanent part of the bridge structure, providing strong support for the foundation. Thanks for watching!